The Toronto Defiant subbed out Hydron, who was putting up a LeBron-level performance for Sam on map 3 of their match versus the Houston Outlaws. But it wasn't just him being subbed out for Sam, he was subbed out for Sam on Cassidy. Science can't answer why, the greatest philosophers of our time cannot answer why. This match was the best match of the entire Pro-Am so far, and then Toronto just Kind of got owned in map three. I don't know. Starting on Nepal Shrine, I had my head in my hands immediately. Toronto got their shit pushed in by Houston 100 0, and I thought it was over. I thought it was GG's. I'm not going to cap. I, I was done. But then on Village, my hope in Defiant was restored. They took early point control. They looked good. Yeah, they gave up the point for a bit because, you know, Shu just hit a fat nade. It is what it is. But the highlight of this round was in overtime where Hydron clutched up on Symmetra. He was contesting point, dodging bullets with the TP, finding kills, and actually looked like he knew what he was doing on Sim, which is kind of rare for Owl. But this would be just the beginning of his dominance. Sanctum was another close 99 to 99 battle with Toronto on the Sigma poke into Houston on Ana Zen Winston. Toronto played it slow with speedily controlling flanks on the Tracer and giving Hydron time to cook on Hanzo. Houston were playing well with their alt cycle, but one little mess up and their entire cycle would get dismantled. Hydron again came alive in overtime, being able to find a pick on Pelican early and touch the point to trigger OT, and ultimately Toronto would win the map with some Hydron heroics. On Blizzard World, Sir Majed came in for OG, and Toronto played Diva Echo Double Flex, with speedily getting a ton of resources on the Echo and blowing up whatever squishy he set his sights on, or even Fearless if he got nano. Eventually, Shu would just kind of three-tap him out of nowhere, and after a long back and forth with some soft resets from both teams, Houston managed to cap out A. Houston steadily moved cart while Toronto took angles from the high ground and had Hydron just kind of buzz around on Tracer. Toronto did a great job keeping Houston to the perimeter of the map, and despite EMPs and nano Fearless on the back line, the Defiant were able to hold Houston at the end of B. Houston's dive did feel a bit uncoordinated, so whenever Fearless did find his way onto the back line, there usually wasn't Pelican or Happy to follow up, and Majed and UV were able to easily pocket each other to win. On the offense, Toronto were able to cap fairly quickly with Nano Speedly and went into B with almost 5 minutes on the clock. However, this is where the Toronto comp broke down. They got a good amount of progress after a failed EMP dive on the rotate from Houston, but lost the fight afterwards and then got stuck. Houston's backline played so far back they were basically untouchable while still remaining active, and the Outlaws did a great job attacking Defiant on the rotations, either team wiping them or forcing out alts like Kitsune Rush. In the end, Toronto C9 in a 3v three to lose and i don't know if they would have won completely because houston did have nano and emp up but maybe speedly was gonna go crazy i don't know another thing about this map is that i do not raid happy on the somber keep that bro on hard hit scan for your own good houston i beg now we get to the most puzzling roster decision ever even worse than max on winston why in god's name are putting sam on cassidy after hydron did so much work toronto got owned in this map if you see Cass tracer winston on a lucio in a mirror and you look at the Defiant roster, and then you look at the Outlaw roster, you already know the result of the map. Toronto pretty much got diffed across the board. Fearless was getting more value with Nanos, Kaluj was constantly getting his jumps booped and slept, Chu was somehow two-tapping speedily multiple times throughout this map, and though speedily did bring it back a bit with some nice clips, Pelican was outperforming him overall, and Houston won with ease. I don't think Sam played poorly, but I do think Hydron being in certainly could not have hurt their chances, and maybe they would have had some more pushback. I really cannot think of a reason this was a planned swap, and it for sure wasn't a playtime thing because he would have been in versus Twisted Minds earlier when Toronto rolled them. Despite the loss, this was a pretty strong showing from Toronto, and they overperformed my expectations. They clearly have some flaws, but I feel much more confident now after seeing that they can hang with Houston. Let me know if you can think of a reason to play Sam down below. I need some help trying to sort this one out, and thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more daily Overwatch League content. Have yourself a good one. Deuces.